Welcome to the Brand Doctor Podcast, strategies that help entrepreneurs build reputable and profitable brands. Here's your host, Henry Kaminsky Jr. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Henry Kaminsky here from UniqueDesigns.net with another Brand Doctor podcast for you guys. And we are continuing today's conversation about keys to growing your brand. And today's daily gem is this. Why do certain brands catch on while others fizzle out? And I want to take a dive into what's more important these days, the product or the message. So I want to make things super, super clear for you. So when we come to when we come to brand building, it's basically on two levels. It's the nuts and bolts, and then it's the marketplace. So you got to have both if you want to have a thriving business. So we spend a lot of time, and you hear me talking about this in nauseam, about building great foundations. Now, we're talking about what to do with them and how to grow them, how to expand your footprint in the marketplace. So the first real key in growing your market footprint is understanding that Two brands that do exactly the same thing in the exact same way can, however, produce very different results where one will catch on like wildfire and the other one will fizzle right out. So what makes the difference? What makes one brand grow like the winds at its back and then the other brand struggle like it's constantly going uphill? So have you ever thought about this? You know, have you ever really looked at why certain brands just catch like wildfire, yet the others burn at the stake without a shot in hell to survive? Look at some of the brands out there like DC Shoes, Under Armour, Monster Energy Drink. What makes these brands so sticky? And this is the kind of stuff that keeps me up at night because deep down, I'm pretty much just a... A, a branding junkie, a branding nerd that just loves this kind of stuff. So, But besides being a branding nerd, it's what helps me not only di- differentiate my brand from my competitors, it allows me to help my clients make their brands pop as well. So anyways, let's make this super simple and skip to the easy way of understanding why certain brands are dominating their markets while other while others while others are desperately desperately trying to stay afloat. So the essence that I want you to get today is this. Which is more important? What a brand stands for or the products it sells? Now, some of you guys may or may not know who this guy is, but I want to take Rob Deerdick for an example. For those of you guys that don't know who Rob Deerdick is, He's basically the only reason why MTV is still on cable television. This guy is a branding genius. He has developed dozens and dozens of brands, successful brands. Uh, He's the creator of that show on MTV, Ridiculousness. He had that show back in the day, Robin Big. He's the founder of DC Shoe Company. And he's got a handful of other things that he's involved in. And he's just made such a, such a tremendous brand out of himself. Um, He's an inspiration. He's an inspiration. And he's all, he started as a professional skateboarder back when he was 16 years old, got into entrepreneurship and the rest was history. So how does he do it? How does he do it? You know, why is everything that Rob touches turned to gold? And besides the unbelievable amount of tenacity and persistence that this guy has, there's something about him that goes a lot deeper that makes him tremendously successful. So the question is, what's more important here? Like I said, the, the product or the messaging, and in my opinion, it's the messaging hands down. I give Rob a ton of credit because... He does have some great products out there, but it's how he delivers his messaging. He, he, he evokes tremendous amounts of emotion. He keeps things extremely relevant. 
His brand connects with his customers on such a level. It's almost as if they're family oriented. And above all, a lot of his brands, if not all of them, inspire people. And then, you know, through his shows and through his marketing, he basically showcases himself living the dream. And so from day one of following this guy, it only took me about five minutes to find out what his backstory was. And my God, was that story inspiring, which just had me hooked from day one. So the amount of social currency that this guy delivers, and we'll get into social currency in the next couple of episodes, in the next couple of days, but it's purely amazing what this guy puts out there. And one thing about Rob is that he's 100% pure authentic in every piece of content that he delivers. And his why trumps his what. You know, I'm a huge fan and he's been a mentor of mine for a long, for, for years, for years. But knowing where this guy started and where he's at today is, is just outstanding. And I, you know, I buy his products because of him first. I'm buying Rob essentially. You know, he found a way to my emotions and I've, Told you a hundred times already, people buy from emotion before they buy for logical reasons. Okay, so enough about Rob. You know, I want to get to the prescription that I want to give you today. And here's my questions. Here's my questions of the day. Do you have a meaningful story that evokes emotion? Does your clients know your story? And do they even care to know your story? Because the key to growing your brand is your story. And without it, again, you're just a ghost. You will struggle and battle obscurity until you go out of business. And like I said, in my opinion, the story and what your brand stands for is way more powerful and comes way before the product that you deliver. So hope you got some value out of this one, guys. Keep listening. I have more about all of this coming up in the next couple of days. I'm gonna give you some some very easy to implement, easy to execute strategy and idea concepts in the next couple of days that are really gonna help you take your brand to the next level and really dial it in, key it in, because that's what matters. It's the details. But I think we're missing the big picture here. I think we get so tied up in our products and services, we forget about what it is that our brand even stands for, why we're even doing the things that we're doing. So again, thank you again for all of you for listening in and reaching out and just the feedback has just been unbelievable. So again, thank you. If you haven't shared this with a friend or colleague yet, please do. And just, I'm just blessed to be able to, to be in front of so many people doing what I love to do. And I, I just want you guys to understand that you have the capability of doing this yourself. You just have to apply it. You have to take this first step and you have to make it happen. Nothing's going to happen on its own. So have an awesome day, guys, and I'll catch you on the next brand doctor podcast episode talk soon you've been listening to the brand doctor podcast with henry kaminsky jr to get your appointment with the doctor visit brand audit at www.uniquedesigns.net